Well, I get asked this question a lot. Uh, I get messages and I see it on the forum a lot. Uh, second gen or FC3S, uh, automatic to manual swap. Uh, you gotta make some trans mount brackets. Uh, reason I'm doing this is I uh, just picked up a Series 5 Vert. Uh, somebody started uh, swapping over, uh, got as far as uh, the mounts and pedal assembly and all that. Uh, so I'll be going through all that as well. But uh, today we're going to do the uh, mount brackets. Um, most people don't know. Some people do know the uh, actual mount holes in the chassis are in different spots. So they don't line up no matter what you do. So another than making a complete custom bracket, uh, this is pretty simple and straightforward. So what we're going to start with, <clears throat> you're going to need a drill, obviously half inch drill bit, a tape measure, a straight edge, a punch so you can center your drill holes, a vise. Um, this one, you might need to ask your friends or whatever if you don't have it, but then you're gonna need a welder. Uh, you're gonna end up having to weld these pieces together. So you're gonna need uh, at least inch and a quarter uh, width on your uh, flat stock and uh, corner inch thick, so pretty heavy. Um, I already marked out some of this. Uh, I've got the other camera so you can see exactly what I'm doing. But you're gonna wanna label two of these parts, A to B. A, you're gonna want uh, five and three eighths long. B, four and five eighths long. Uh, you're gonna wanna cut these. Uh, one other thing you're gonna need is either a uh, chop saw or uh, I'm gonna use my uh, portable band saw just because I don't feel like going to get a chop saw and it makes a big mess anyways. And uh, a little vice to hold it. So I'm going to uh, set up and um, start getting to it, set up the cameras uh, so you can see exactly what's up and uh, we'll do the rest of the measurements and all that stuff. I'll post up the instructions in the video description as well. Um, but uh, here's a pic of the, uh, the Series uh, 5 that I picked up. Um, it's going to need a bunch of work, but you know, low mileage and whatnot. So. Yeah, uh, and don't forget your safety glasses because you don't. Last thing you want is a piece of metal in your eye. So uh, let me get to it. All right, uh, we're all set up. Um, I'm gonna time lapse a little bit of this here and there, and then go back and forth, just so this video isn't uh, 40 minutes long. So. Uh, this is the first part, and uh, I'll get it to uh, cutting the uh, parts and marking them up to get ready to drill. All right guys, so you're gonna take your uh, A-labeled piece and uh, you're gonna mark it first at the one inch mark and then two and nine sixteenths, which is right there. Or yeah, right here. <laughs> and those are gonna be your drill holes. That do it on both of them because obviously you need to do both so one inch and then two inch and nine sixteenths and then that's what i said your center punch is for all right so center on this inch and a half so we're going to center it up And that's where we're going to uh, take this. Now I'm 
B, we got to measure up an inch and an eighth. Two and eleven sixteenths. So two and eleven sixteenths. And the same thing over here on B. So inch and an eighth, two and eleven sixteenths. We're going to center those. Do the same thing with punch. All right, now we're gonna get ready to drill those. All right, we got this all set up in the vise. Uh, so, you wanna lube it a little bit. I don't know how good this is aimed because my GoPro software is being stupid. So, then you start drilling your half inch hole. All right, that's one. Now rinse and repeat, and uh, I'll spare the drilling on that. We'll come back to uh, when we're ready to weld. All right, uh, just about time to weld. So, welder's on. Um, so now, I already set it up and tacked it so I didn't have to fight with it with everybody. So, basically your next deal is to measure four and three eighths and mark it. I already have this marked on here and then you take your that is also on your A you take your B you lay that on there you should have an inch of overhang now all together you should have nine inches all right we're good there so the next procedure is to make sure is your first the hole should be lined up one inch on center and then two and nine sixteenths and then six and five sixteenths, and then seven and seven eighths, which we're all dead on here. So now I'm gonna finish welding this up, and uh, we'll bring that up in uh, I'll probably time lapse that a little bit, and then we'll show you the finished project. And then obviously you repeat, do the, your second side, and uh, then you're done. Uh, throw a coat of paint on it because it's mild steel. It'll rust quick. All right All right, we'll see how this works. I'm gonna try something new here and uh, see if this will record the uh, welding That's all welded up, and like I said, spare the antics of everything else. Um, yeah, so this video ought to be fun trying to do this all with the phone. After you're done, paint it up, like I said, and uh, there's your mount. You're only going to put it one way because when it's going to sit on the frame, you're going to want to bolt that up that way, and then it's going to sit that way. If you put it upside down, it's going to drop your transmission an inch. So, bolt up like so. Bolts through your transmission mount that's already existing. All right, guys. Um, thanks for watching. And um, next we'll probably be doing the uh, couple other things like the pedal assembly, ECU, uh, gauge cluster, all the rest of that stuff that uh, goes along with swapping from uh, auto to manual. Thanks.